Now, have you seen one of the new one-pound coins which went into circulation today? Well, a teenager in the black country was particularly keen to get his hands on one because he designed it. David Pierce won a Royal Mint competition two years ago and his initials feature on the new coin. But today was the first time he actually saw it. Joanne Rittle reports. David Pierce has every reason to be proud. He designed the back of the new pound coin, legal tender, today. From the Royal Covenant, there's the, the English Tudor Rose, the Welsh Leek, the Scottish Thistle and the Northern Irish Shamrock. They're tiny, but David's initials are beneath the coronet on the right of the coin. But he's pretty modest. Quite humbled to be able to have a part in like, the creation of this kind of new coin. But it's, uh, it's a nice experience. He entered this drawing in a Royal Mint competition with the encouragement of his teacher at Queen Mary's Grammar School in Walsall and won £10,000. The headmaster put this as his top achievement in the last academic year. So the school as a whole are very, very proud. His pals are impressed too. It's a national competition and thousands of people entered it and it had to be one of my mates from my class to design the coin. And I think, yeah, it was a great achievement, really, for David. What do you think of it? Oh, uh, it's beautiful. I like the design and how he incorporates the togetherness of the country. But it's not a cause of celebration for many councils and businesses. Here in Walsall, for example, the councils had to spend four and a half thousand pounds updating the parking machines. So they take the new pound coin. I quite like it, but I'm not sure about the 12 size, though. Why not? Um, I just think of the, you know, it has to be changed now, you know, the, the pay machines and things like that. What do you like about it? Yeah, just the general design. It's going to be hard no, no. to counterfeit. No, no, no. Back to David, though, and he may have been to Downing Street and met the then Chancellor, but we couldn't resist showing you what happened during our interview. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. <Drop> it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Well, David will be in his 40s by the time the new coin ceases to be in circulation. But before then, he has A levels this summer and an offer from Cambridge to study architecture. Joanne Rittle, BBC Midlands Today, Walsall. Oh dear, he's not going to get into the school cricket team with that, is he? Now, if you still have.